to my channel you got me in stitches I'm Anna and for those of you who haven't met Emma yet this is Emma and we both welcome you to my channel righto today I am coming in at you with uh, a medium sized haul shall we say and these are predominantly thrifted items that I have picked up over quite a few weeks actually and they have now kind of accumulated yeah, into a little bit of a pile and I thought I'd come in with you guys today and show you the haul. Also there is some fabric and there are a couple of little sort of fig not figurines, uh, ornaments for the Christmas tree that I picked up in a sale a few days after Christmas so pretty much everything that I show you today apart from one or two things everything is at kind of a really huge discounted price and yeah like I said just with an exception of one or two things that was full price and yeah so it does seem that I have a lot of things but I mean this has been over a good probably about almost 10 weeks now and uh, yeah, so I thought I might as well show you guys all in one go. Yeah, shall we show them? You're not going to move, are you? i got to put you down. And if you hear any noises in the background, currently at the moment there is a storm. And also guys, I didn't come in on Wednesday because... Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I hear three days of absolute agony. And yeah, I was pretty dysfunctional to be honest, but then I'm pretty dysfunctional anyway, so <laughs> yeah. But I'm not gonna get into it, you know, it's personal and private. And yeah, on those sort of days when it's really, really horrendous, I do get a little bit embittered and angry because I shouldn't have to be keep going through these things but let's see what the doc says in a few days and the specialists and go from there I guess yeah are you gonna go on the bed I have if you notice the backdrop is more pleasing to the eye I have decorated this entire room and so there's no need to stick the fabric on the wall there we go there's a good girl okay Right, let's start with everything. Right, on. first up is a cute little diced up. Here he is. And as his little head is only glued on, it would have mattered if he had been stitched on or glued on. Part of it is actually coming away anyway. I think with children that go into the store sometimes, you know, they're just going to pick things up like that. So, because this is just Christmas themed, I thought of actually taking this hat off and maybe recreating an everyday one. And then I could easily put this back on during Christmas if you wanted to come out. I'm not, I mean, I would keep him out all year. And if I wanted the Christmas theme, then I could put his hit back on. But yeah, so that's that little guy. These are little Christmas items as well here. Oops, hang on. Oof. I'm all of a fumble today. 
this one as well. And got two little blindies here. And I got a little gingerbread color, the little teeny tiny one. So they will go in the attic along with all the other Chrissy decorations and things. And they were all at a sale and they're heavily discounted, so that was really good. I have an off white beret and a little children's hat here and I'm thinking I might convert him into a little cozy just to keep the little pot of tea warm I don't often when I do tea I don't often actually make a pot Occasionally I'll do if I hear a couple of people around. What are patterns? Style 2042. Then we have Macaw 8346. I think that's all still be cured. There's no line art on the back here, just regular writing. My car's M6935. Line art on the back there. And a red so little puppy. It's just a pattern in there. There's no stuffing or anything. There's little pieces there. That's okay because I have a whole bunch of stuffing. Right, style two, two, five, three. Line up. Then we have New Look K6145. Very simple little outfit there. Line up. And again, guys, I just seen some flashing. Because where there has been some storms, yeah, there might be a power power out in a minute. I don't know. Now, Eliza M doesn't appear to be an actual pin number on there. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a vintage wiggle dress there. That's just the reverse. There's no actual line out as such. Then we have style 1624. Line out again. And style 3055. And the line are there. This piece of jewelry I had been eyeing up for a little while now, and here yeah, I'm probably late to the party. And it's the necklace from So Dainty, and it is the scissors here. I got this a few weeks ago. Here's a little card. 
And then I treated myself to some labels here. That's the reverse. The Bicardi and the Machine there. Multi. Pick there. And again, flame on reverse. So I'll see how I get on with those. So I got those last week. And the necklace. Oh, I got quite a few weeks ago. And on Friday. I couldn't resist this fabric, guys. And I was a little bit crazy, I know, for clothing. So I perhaps maybe I was thinking of a cover for the sewing machine or a serger or something like that. Or maybe a little bag. But I don't know, part of me actually feels that I would like to wear a garment made up in that. These fabrics I purchased last Saturday and I'm not going to say too much but there is something going on between a lady and I in the sewing community and I said to my man earthling friend I kind of need some more fabric and he was like really? <laughs> I'm like yeah but it's not for me and yeah so I promise you guys I purchased some fabric for a lady and I'm not going to show or tell or anything like that. I've already mailed it out anyway so I don't have it here to show you and stupidly I actually didn't photograph it but it doesn't matter because all will make sense at some point. And all these fabrics were in a heavily reduced sale and yeah so I couldn't resist getting three fabrics myself. So this one. Rooster fabric, 100% cotton. The colour is coming up pretty true on camera there. I got these beautiful little butterflies, again 100% cotton. And if this doesn't send me quackers, what will? Again, a little bit of a heavier weight, 100% cotton, but look at these guys. They are so cute. And I got a yard of the quackers, I got a yard of the butterflies, and a yard... Did I get a yard out of her? Did I get... No, I did get a yard of all three there. We are slowly going to move into clothing. What I will do is actually put the clothing on the mannequin and I'm going to take photographs because there is a lot to go through and you will see from the steels, the fabric content and everything like that. Now, don't laugh at these. Pair of shoes. Now, initially they do look very granny fied but again, with my vintage look and things that I like wearing, this would work really well. So these are the shoes. They got a cute heel on, not too high, because I am already tall. I didn't want anything too high. And I do have two. <laughs> I'm not really showing you one. But I really like the little strip detail there with a the button. And yeah, it's just, I won't do it because it's noisy, but it's Velcro and they are really, really comfortable. And obviously, I know they're sick in hand and everything, but I don't have to wear them in. So they're really soft and malleable and really comfortable. And to be honest, they would actually work with a pair of jeans, not necessarily have to be teamed up with anything vintage. So yeah, they are the shoes. Also, this other 100% cotton fabric which I thrifted for barely no cost. They are actually a pair of drapes because you can see the tape there so I can remove that and put that in my collection. But this is the fabric and I was thinking of making a vintage style 
dress with this and I would think that would work really really well and there are two amounts here I haven't actually measured it but I'm guessing there could be a good three yards there maybe a smidge more so again give me some, some suggestions on kind of a vintage vibe dress or outfit that you would think that fabric would work with right eye clothes That is the thrifted clothes that I picked up and I was very lucky also to come across a couple of names there. Now I am not a type of girl that would ordinarily ever purchase and I never have. I would never purchase clothes that are named, especially brand new and to be fair when I was looking I was purely looking for a particular style of clothing and it was only really when I was at home and then going through the tags, labels and everything like that, prices that I actually looked at you know the label in my detail but no I am not a label girl I don't ever buy into things like that and it's also amazing to think that people have and they have just donated because originally those clothes would have been you know quite a bit of money so but yeah I have predominantly thrifted all my life it's very rare that I actually purchase something full price brand new I will purchase things brand new but not very often at full price a because I cannot afford it and B because no, no so and as I can show you guys there you can actually pick up some really lovely thrifted items that it originally would have cost quite a bit of dollars and pounds whatever wherever you are I mix so I will kind of intermix dollars and yeah Anyway, not getting into that. Now, this little top here that I want to show you guys, this little spidey top that you saw, this is the style top that I kind of have been after in a pattern. And I like the little tie detail down here, which would have been at the waist area. And this is a little bit I'm not, I haven't actually tried it on, I just put it up against me and I know that it would be a little bit bigger. I'm not ooh, not too sure about the little ruffle thing going on there so I may take that off. Obviously I'm going to resize this. However, I thought because I got this for a few cents, at the end of the day I can reconfigure the pattern and make it that it fits me and play around with darts and things like that and it also has a little ruffle going on there just at the end I'm trying to show you guys 
you can see the seam there and then it has a little bit of billowing there and that would come down to the elbow and I did make it up with the wonderful Helen from Bountiful Bows so much more yes <laughs> and yeah I do like that but it's funny because I was also saying in a comment to Claire from Penguin and Pear she's not so into flower sleeve and I think she looks so beautiful in a flower sleeve and I do like a flower sleeve so I may even convert this little top when I reconfigure the pattern and trace things out and make all the amendments I might make this into a flower sleeve but who knows I might keep it just as is but it's all part of experimenting and the journey and everything like that so right well guys I am not going to rev it on too much today so hope you have enjoyed the haul there that I picked up from various thrifting places over the last sort of 10 ish weeks give or take and let me know do you guys enjoy thrifting some guys actually just do not ever thrift and yeah let me know what you pick up what you like if you go and tell me if you reconfigure some of your clothes some of them will be reconfigured and the little blue top there that you saw T rather it's for teenage earthling and the beige pants near the end there they are also for teenage earthling so and at the moment he's kind of in a bit of a awkward sort of sizing stage which you know it's being a dressmaker and things like that helps because then you can fit the body measurements and perfect them better they are ready to wear because pretty much a high percentage of the time I have to reconfigure the clothes sizing and things like that but again let me know do you have to do that as well so we're not all one set sizes are we right oh guys I got to let you go and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and for those that didn't like the video you know where that thumbs down button is so but have a wonderful week and I'm not too sure if I'm going to come in on Wednesday or not but if not I will see you either Wednesday or Sunday or being well so take care guys have a really wonderful week and please wherever you are with all this horrible weather and everything going on please stay safe and yeah thank you so much for watching guys take care